Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. We've got a whiskey review for you coming at you from one of our good friends who is helping us out because as you all saw the last week's video just came out on Sunday. I was a day late. Ooh, we need well, help loser. with whiskeys to review because we're out our bar and we just don't have the resources don't to continue look. buying whiskeys. So our good buddy Steve... Jackson reached, <laughs> reached out and said, Hey, I got a barrel pick Ooh. from our state. It is Remus whiskey, single barrel out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Uh, coming in at it is a single barrel coming in at 113.2 proof, alcohol 56.6. The barrel number <clears> is 278. I guess I am going to need my glasses after all. Hey, look how clear that is. Which is funny because it says how much rise in it. And yes. I wish I wouldn't have known because I could smell it. Really? And I don't know if I'm influenced by the bottle, but right. I could. Um, There's like no sweetness. It, it lists the mash bill right yeah, at the bottom rough. of the barrel of the bottle. Mash bill 51% <clears throat> corn, 39% rye. Here's an interesting thing. 10% malted rye. So there is no malted barley, barley in this mash bill. <clears throat> Why do they use a malted grain, you ask? Tell them, Josh. Because that what that's what converts the sugar into whatever it is. The malted the malted grain, the malt <laughs> of the grain <laughs> converts the starches into fermentable starches into sugar, sugar right. so that the yeast converts the sugared mm. into alcohol. Right. So this is corn, <clears throat> rye, rye, instead of a standard mash bill that would be corn rye and malted barley. barley they use malted Which is rye like 10 or so generally less, like and yeah. here it's 10 percent as well so they're using the malted grain in a small percentage this is a very high rye mash bill yeah like 51 percent so corn i am <clears throat> freaking out right now <laughs> i am not a big rye i do like rye i have grown in my whiskey thing on liking ryes um, but I imagine this is going to be very rye forward, it's, very peppery and stuff like that. I wouldn't add water, although water might help bring the ABV down to make it more palatable. Um, now, a little bit of history on Remus. George Remus was a prominent attorney, pharmacist, and many other things back during the Prohibition era, just before the Volstead Act, which became the, it was the Prohibition um, he relocated to Cincinnati, Ohio, where he ran a lot of bootlegging operations, and his distillery was uh, something in Squibb, uh, Ross and Squibb Distillery out of Lawrenceburg, oh. Indiana, uh, which Lawrenceburg, Indiana is relatively close to Cincinnati, so he could continue his operations. And so he utilized the loopholes in the Volstead Act or Prohibition where you could do medicinal whiskey. And so he utilized every loophole he could as, a, as an attorney that knows the law. And so he became quite famous. And that's why this whiskey is named after him. Utilized at his distillery, which is now still in operation in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Probably owned by new folks, maybe family, it doesn't say. Could just be marketing. We don't it know. could be marketing, but there's the but history he was a behind for it. Sure. Yes, <clears throat> and there is the history behind Remus, who he was, where he came from, and how he made his fortune in the whiskey industry. As you can tell, prohibition did nothing other than make criminals, criminals rich, super rich, <laughs> and the Kennedys. Yeah, they were criminals. Yeah. So on the nose, 113 proof. Is that what we said? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's super rye forward. It doesn't smell bad, but there's I don't get ooh, any sweetness. Yeah, there sure is a lot of rye. The age, mm -hmm. there is no age statement on this color-wise. It's not super dark, so I don't know. It's hard to say. It is it is a single barrel, so is it actually is it actually bourbon or is it just Oh yeah, straight bourbon whiskey. So. Yeah. Is it bourbon? It is 51% corn, yeah. so it's got to be over, yeah. It has to be over fifty-one percent corn, which they were at the limit, the legal limit for to call it bourbon on the bottle. 
It's a single it's barrel. It's funny, bottled by Ross and Squibb Distillery. It doesn't say distilled there, so it's no. got to be NGP. It's distilled, yeah, guaranteed. It's probably distilled. Or, or um, 1792. Yeah, because they're, the they're doing a lot. That yeah. way you can say distilled in Kentucky. Yeah, so but it doesn't sure. even say distilled in Kentucky, no, does uh, it? No, So it's probably MGP, which is Indiana. Which is always It's decent. great whiskey. Boy, that's rye. Yeah. Heavy that's, rye. But it's not like grass. It's got a little caramelness to it. I mean, It does. It's not, it's not, it's not terrible smelling. What do you think that age is for a single barrel? You're not going to just dump and... Make a single barrel in six, six years ish, probably. Yeah. I thought that's what well, when we taste it. Six, six, seven, years, sure six to eight, maybe. Yeah. I don't think it's the color is not deep enough to I be a 12. No, I don't think so. It's pretty light, actually. It I mean, is. That's what makes me say six. Yeah, I'd say, yeah. I, but I, the, the nose is good. It doesn't have that green, green that new whiskey correct. smell. You know, if we both say the word at the same time, we're not influencing each other. No. Not a bad nose for a yeah. rye. Should we go in for a yeah. try? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. I don't know if that salsa numb my tongue, but I, I don't get a whole lot of anything. I don't anything. either. No. I'm... That's super... Had some salsa. <laughs> I... That is a, very smooth. Yeah, I don't get a lot of anything. 113. There's a little bit now on the tongue, backside of the tongue and the sides. But to be fair, we did mm. just have some habanero salsa. There's like it's like a there's like caramel note in there. Yeah, I thought we gave ourselves our palate time to heal from that salsa, but the 113 it's I thought definitely burned in my guts. Oh. The salsa. Uh, no, the booze <laughs> on top of the salsa. <laughs> so, um, you got some caramel, huh? I got a little caramel, but I'm not getting a whole lot of... I mean, I get some pepper, kind of, but <clears throat> we just had super hot pepper. So, maybe that's why we don't get it. Oh, that's probably a bad choice to have shoveling 14 gallons of salsa. That's pretty pleasant. That's good. I like it. Did you ever find out the price? Oh, no, I didn't. I will put the price down. Right yeah, I get here. like butterscotch. My tongue is on fire now. You have butterscotch. It's burning all the way down because <laughs> of the salsa, I think. I got I have butter, not caramel. It's butterscotch. I'm I getting. see butterscotch. I'm getting butterscotch, and that's like it. That's actually really good. I don't think it's going to be good with that much rye. But I like rye, though. You do. Was it on? Did you check the website? No, I didn't actually. So Josh is going to pull up his his camera or his phone, camera. check out our state website, and they will list it and tell the price of it. So yeah, as a rye, it's a dominant rye whiskey, but it's not, and it's not. It I'm doesn't get any pepper. I want to add a little water. It doesn't have that. I will too. It doesn't have that that rye burn that rye whiskeys have that rye grass there's a particular rye grass note huh water sweeten it up a little oh, bit single barrel at 60 bucks oh there you go private barrel select so, six, so 59.95 so it's a 60 dollar plus tax their regular straight bourbon is three thirty six dollars okay and then hmm. Their rye six-year bourbon. So their rye is a six-year, it says. Bourbon doesn't have an H statement. And their rye is fifty-four ninety-five. So I must be proud of that. Yeah. So if it's so, close to that, it's 109 proof. So it's probably, probably about close six to years. Six year. yeah. It's a six-year. Like we were saying at the beginning of the video, we were guessing oh. four to six. <clears throat> it's probably on the six-year edge. It's searing pain. You need to start. Oh, you take me to the emergency room. <laughs> okay. I had a little bit of water and it opened it up a little on the nose. So we dropped the proof. That was a good splash of water. Yeah, I figured I'd really yeah. knock it down. Oh. Oh, it kind of smells like Cheez Its. That's a weird smell that I haven't had in a Excuse while. Me. You know, it didn't really. It softened the palate, so my tongue's not on fire right now at 113 proof with the habanero salsa adding behind it. 
it made it oh, more palatable. It, it made it more palatable. I like it better neat. I got really. I got grassy and dry. And see, I just did a drop, oh, like yeah. a very I small. Liquid. Mine's probably at sixty proof now. Yeah, that's a decent whiskey for yeah, sixty I like bucks. It neat. I think single it's good. barrel I like bourbon. It. Yeah. That's but good. I don't believe. I, don't I feel believe. like I would like to try it though. Again, like you said, without With, having that hot sauce, I think that just right. numbed our palate. Yeah, because it was the first sip I had was like it was water, almost. right? And there's like a ton of alcohol. Right, in I this. couldn't detect any heat from alcohol. No. until I swallowed yeah. it, and, and I could feel of... it go down. But like my tongue and stuff is already probably right. numb from the yeah. peppers. I guess that's. So I don't know if that's a, a lesson. Yeah. Is that good or legit, bad? I don't know. I don't know how legit the review is of the booze. Like I don't know if we're doing it a fair shake, <clears throat> or you guys a fair shake, on if this because it tastes great. It does have a good. <laughs> it does have a good flavor. I like it, especially the high like sixty dollars for that high of proof. Right. I think you're and getting a single it. barrel and a single barrel. Yeah. And it's a high rye, and it still tastes like yeah. I said. I I only get butterscotch now, with the water I get. Complete rye grass. The rye notes, okay. But I don't get pepper. I just get that rye grass. And I don't know that like we've ever it. done. Oh yeah, mine's yeah. not with a. It's just totally a drop rye grass, right? Yeah, like a piece of rye bread's in my glass. Right. Um, this is the rye first grass. whiskey. Rye bread in my glass. Rye grass. Rye bread. Rye Say that rye. five times fast. I don't think so. This is the first time I think we've done a review of a whiskey where the malted grain. To convert was rye. Well, yeah, and we don't. I mean, we also don't know on a lot of them because it doesn't say it on all the Right, so that's true. Who knows? I mean, maybe there's maybe that's a bigger it, yeah. thing than we know. But generally speaking, and I think the most board, of them are more corn barley. too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 60, 70 percent yeah. corn in the mash bill, yeah, so you get that that corn note. Yeah. So this, is, but I got the butterscotch. So yeah. I don't know. I yeah, think they, it's, I think it's good. They legitimately did. 51% corn. The only reason they did that is so they could call this bourbon. Correct. That's the only reason. So that they're probably more proud of that six-year rye that's $54.95. I, I, I bet, bet they are. I bet yeah. that's their staple kind of. Yeah, I bet they are. True. This is decent, though. So it's a bourbon high, high rye across the board. Let me tell you my tongue. Like a, I don't know if that's the falta or the that. <laughs> Could be. I'm gonna try it a little, a little one. I wish I wouldn't add a water. I like it neat. But I always like to try that. It's fun to try. You know, you see, yeah, some uh, some you love with it, right? Water. Some the, for me, the water. I added a drop. Yeah, that still actually, smells good. Yeah, it, it, it smells it, like complete ryegrass. Yeah, yeah. Just yours still if, smells good. Yeah, if you're gonna add water to it, depending on your palate, start out. With small, small amounts of drop. eye droppers, even. Yeah, and which we have a pipette where you drop it in a drop at a time, and that's where you can tailor it to your meat because you can't take the water out once you put it in. You're done. Yeah. So, small amounts. Decent whiskey, 60 bucks. High rye mash bill. Rye is the malted grain used to convert everything. 51% corn. That's one of the lowest corn mash bills of a bourbon yeah. that we've tried on the show that it's I almost recall. It's almost the same amount of corn as that's in Pikesville, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, I think they're 49% corn. Right. So it's to so, make it more sweet. But. Yep. It's as low as you can go and call it a bourbon legally. So decent whiskey available. If it's in your area and you are fond of rye whiskeys, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Steve, it's good. thank you for this yeah, bottle. Pick. Get this one back to you. It is exponentially better than the last oh. bottle we got from you, um, which he gave away. As he should. He's like, it As is terrible. Um, this one's a good one. You're going to like this one, buddy. Yep. So I'll get this back to you this week sometime so you can enjoy it. <clears throat> and I, got, I don't got anything nope. else for this one. Nope. Well, then we will wrap this review up remember hit the like button subscribe if you want it doesn't cost you anything um we're still growing ever so slowly but we do appreciate everybody out there and uh as always enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons any way you like cheers, cheers everybody cheers, cheers buddy